All right. People who watched my channel recently may have seen a time lapse of me uh, moving speakers around. And uh, recently that has become a, a real thing. And uh, may have lost my mind a tiny bit and gone overboard. But I want to show you a set of speakers that I bought today. I've been looking at these for a while. I heard about them for years, but um, it wasn't until I got back into this that uh, I really started to search for them. Here's a view of the whole. This is probably only about, well, uh, maybe only 90% of them. There's still three sets down in the studio. <clears throat> they go all the way back. Um, so anyway, the topic of today is these. These are labeled uh, Genexa, which was uh, the later branding for Radio Shack Tandy. Um, the manuals for these say they were printed in 1994, so I'm assuming that we're talking around that time period. I thought this would still be realistic at that point, but um, Genexa, realistic, and I think RCA badged these as well. Still made by Tandy, but... Uh, and they were also sold individually, individual boxes, which I have the boxes for. Um, so in some cases, you could go into Radio Shack and get a pair, but one would say RCA on it, and the other would say Realistic, or Genexa and Realistic. So supposedly there was a time when there was multiple brands around and available. Now what makes these ones so strange is the tweeters, and there is two of them. And uh, Linnaeum is the company that makes these ribbon tweeters. And uh, Tandy licensed that for a good decade at least. And on these particular models, they all used these tweeters. Um, I haven't listened to these yet, but I plan to very soon. And uh, yeah, I only paid $50 for these, which is a really good price. I notice online people are asking... Um, Quite a bit more just for the oddity and I don't know how rare they probably built hundreds of thousands of them but um, this is the first set I've ever owned or, or even had available to me. So here it is with the grill on and uh, I took the grill off for this. It was a major pain in the ass because there's some of this, uh, well it's rubber, it's not glue but uh, it's kind of stuck down using this goo. Um, after I clean them up a bit I might just leave the uh, grills off them and look far out without it. Anyway, I'm going to give them, a, give them a play in a little bit. Supposedly they're very near field, so if you wanted these just on the side of your computer and you know within you know a couple of feet of you or whatever, supposedly that's what they were built for. Um, they do have proper binding posts, which is cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give them a go. People online are all about uh, modification modifications to these. I think they uh, uh, change where the crossover happens and um, more ba uh, baffling or padding material inside. Suppose it was just one little piece down at the bottom. Uh, I'm not really keen on that kind of thing, unless it would improve it dramatically, but I just, I just wanted to own them. All right, have fun, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Just a little update on these uh, little Genexa realistic things here. I just hooked them up and uh, was comparing them with this, uh, these acoustic research speakers, which I've kind of kept as my default. Um, they sound nice and warm. They're kind of 70s sounding, easy to listen to, and uh, pretty good range. Um, I would say these compared very favorably to it. Um, even new, these would have probably been $70 each or something like that. Um, the Air Research, a couple hundred dollars a pair. Uh, maybe three hundred dollars a pair at the time but anyway uh yeah they're they're really neat i'm going to continue to do some more listening but for their size um i would say for their size they're the best sounding speakers that i have of this diminutive nature um got some others down here glenn and i tested these uh, uh jbls and uh they sounded like ass um this beats that Ten times over, uh, maybe five times over, but um, yeah, completely happy. Uh, if you were to just find them at a yard sale or whatever, you'd think, "What the hell is this piece of junk or whatever?" You know, Genexa. But uh, I would say, if you find them, buy them. They're uh, surprisingly good. And with me being right close to them here as I'm listening, 
I can see how that would be probably the best way to hear them. Um, um, they have, they go pretty loud, um, but they wouldn't be for a large room. And you would want to have a sub with it. And I do have a sub going on right now. I don't know how well uh, adjusted I have it, but anyway, um, yeah, no, nothing wrong with these speakers. They uh, are better than they should be. Anyway, just a bit of an update after I uh, had a listen. All right, talk soon. Bye.